Can we say that intelligent animals such as cats, dogs, horses, and dolphins are controlled by the system, or are animals biological programs that act autonomously only according to their instincts? That's a great question from the daughter of one of our colleagues. It looks like the rising generation will be able to create a new reality. Your daughter is absolutely right, animals are biological programs, and the civilizational system has no effect on them. The system or more precisely the egregorial system affects the buddhic body. Animals do not have the buddhic body. The mental body is the highest level of their consciousness. They don't even have a good sense of time and are mostly guided by their instincts. Highly developed primates can feel time. However, they have no concept of values, beliefs, or moral and ethical standards. Only the higher primates, such as humans, have them. Accordingly, only humans have the buddhic body. Egregorial systems work through the buddhic body, so fortunately animals, as children of nature, are free from this trouble. Your daughter is right about that, and the next question from Olga, in recent times, lying has become a systematic and very common way of achieving goals. Does this mean that the warrior caste, which is based on the truth, has given up its position? How can a lie be countered in a magical way? Yes, the warrior caste has given up its position, there were too many provocations and temptations that they couldn't resist. It is possible to magically resist lies only by rigid self-control, by taking guys based on the necessity to always tell the truth, to monitor one's own day, one's own words, one's own actions identifying lies. That is, to make a revision every minute. It may seem difficult at first, but it really isn't. You just open your mouth to say something and immediately catch yourself thinking, I'm not lying now, am I? Before you open your mouth, you must tell yourself that you cannot lie. If you can't tell the truth, don't tell the truth, but don't lie. And this should be done every day, at first you will slip up and catch yourself by the tongue. What am I doing now? There was no need to lie, and yet you did it automatically. But after some time, these self-recriminations become less frequent, and in the end you begin to understand that you cannot lie, not because you have to achieve a result. Not because you have to please someone, or for any other reason related to positioning yourself in society, but because you cannot lie, and that is more important than anything else. And when that happens, when your inner motivation to not lie comes first, and then everything else, that's when you start to gain your own rights. Slowly at first, then faster and faster, and after a while you will be able to see all of the lying people and all of their lies. You will begin to recognize lies by the modulations in the voice. You wouldn't have to look at the person. You wouldn't have to study NLP. You will have the ability to see through everyone. You would immediately recognize lies in information given by both official and unofficial means. You will have an obvious and clear feeling inside. You will know exactly where the truth is and where the lie is. But first you have to get past the stage of catching yourself in a lie. When your own lies start to make you sick. And of course that is where the revision begins, where you start to analyze. Why am I lying now? Who am I trying to impress? Is there anyone I need to impress at all? Such a question can really turn the mind upside down. You immediately begin to reevaluate your own life. It is a very personal process, but it is one that you should go through. 
Since you once took the path of least resistance and decided that lying was useful, you must personally walk this path without magic, without sorcery, without deception or fraud as a human being in order to regain your own dignity and honor. Since you have lost them, you must seek them out and take them back. That will be my answer to you, Kali Golga.